Hello Luminaires, Bilal aka Cove here coming at you with another lighting tutorial. Today's tutorial will begin the series of where we talk about the differences between each studio item and how to use each one. Studio items are very important because it's where you'll be using things to tie into different chat commands, twitch points, twitch extensions, alerts, trovo spells, youtube super chats, and so on and so forth. Studio scenes specifically are available to be used in both the premium and the starter version so you'll see many examples of people using them online. So grab your lights and let's light up your stream. So you may be familiar with different lights, native scenes, like for Philips Hue, for instance, you can change different colors to different lights as you see fit. Uh, but with Lumia scenes, we do something similar, except we tie each different light brand into one unique look. So to begin, if we come over and press studio and scenes, I'm going to add a scene. As you see, there's a few different options and boxes you can choose from, but most importantly is the scene items box. This is where you create your different colors and your different looks. So I'm gonna do a box with orange and a box with my emerald color. So now I have three different colors to choose from and if I press test, you'll see that none of my lights actually change. This is because I haven't added any lights that I want to be inside of each slot. As you see, there's no lights here, it says zero lights. So I'm gonna grab some of my Philips Hue lights. I'm gonna do Hue Go and I'm gonna do my front left shelf. And I'm gonna test out again and now you'll see my Philips Hue lights did trigger. So you'll keep adding your lights inside of each slot. If I wanted my nano leaves here, I can do that. Press test and you'll see two of my nano leaf slots go off. I can also drag a whole light brand. So if I want all of my nano leaves to be green emerald, I'll press test and you'll see all of them except the one that I already had inside of orange inside of emerald but if I delete that and drag it again press test now you'll see all of my nano leaves have turned to emerald green now to make this even simpler let's say you didn't really care about the order or which light is actually inside of each slot I can press reset here and then I can auto fill and press test again. And now you'll see all of my different lights have been filled to each slot randomly. Uh, and it goes in order. So all of my nano leaves are each slot. So the emerald, orange, blue, emerald, orange, blue. So that's pretty much everything you can do with the scene items and the lights list. You can also change the brightness. So if I did something like that, you'll see my lights just got a lot dimmer. That's about it. We want to make studio scene items super simple. But there's also a new option that we added in 5.2 where you can change your scene to a living scene. Now, if I turn on living scene, you'll see there's a cycle duration, which means how long it takes to just go from one slot to the next. So I have it for one second. So I'll go blue for one second and orange for one second and emerald for one second. And it'll just keep changing your lights inside of each slot in order because I chose the move type. So if I test this out, you'll see that it goes orange, green, blue, orange, green, blue and it just keeps doing that for all of your lights. So there's also the backwards type, which just goes in reverse order, which will go emerald, orange, green, and there's also the random type, which will just trigger different lights to different slots. So if I press test, you'll see that the lights will be triggered in different orders. So sometimes almost all of them will be emerald, sometimes they'll almost be green. It's all random how it chooses it. That, oh, like almost all the lights were just emerald at that point. Um, so. That's how random works. I'll try to explain cycle duration a little more. Like you see how at any point, all of my lights are transitioning from one color to the next and are very smooth transition because it's the same time as your cycle duration. And that kind of wraps up living scenes. There's really nothing else to it. I just adds like a reaction inside of a scene, super simple with one click and you're good to go. So I'm gonna call this scene uh, Aurora um, A. And you'll see there's also an option to create a chat command, which is enabled by default. So chat can start using this scene immediately. They just put exclamation point Aurora A and they'll be good to go. So I'm gonna press done and you'll see it show up here. I'm gonna give one more example of a living scene uh, to recreate our police reaction uh, within a scene to make it extremely simple. So I'm gonna create two different slots, a blue slot and a red slot. I'm going to auto fill all of my lights in here press living scene. And then I want my cycle duration to be a lot faster than one second because all of my lights are using fast mode. So I'm gonna use 0.2 seconds. And in my transition, I just want to be zero seconds. And I'm gonna have it as, a, as the move type. I'm gonna press test. And you'll see all of my lights doing the police reaction, extremely simple in a few seconds. I set up a police reaction. 
uh, using a scene item. So I'm going to call this police scene and I'm going to let chat go crazy with this. So now if they go in chat and they just press exclamation point police scene, they'll have their police sirens up immediately. I'm going to press done. If I come to the community and then I come to scenes, you'll see that, you know, police scene is here. This is one I just created. You have the soft purple, which just turns everything to a purplish color. Uh, we have the Shrek scene. We have heart. And any of these can be turned to a living scene after you download it. Uh, press River. We got Merle's colors, Merle's different scene colors that he has for his setup. Uh, Kyan Candy. Twitch. Pretty interesting. Um, Star Wars and so on and so forth. You'll see all the different colors here, even Contra here. This is a nice look. I used to use this one a lot. Um, so yeah, so after you download a scene, you'll just go to any one of your scenes, make sure that you have all of your lights filled in. So I'm auto fill these. And then I'm gonna turn this into a living scene, of course. And I'm gonna test it out. And pretty much everything turned into a living scene, super fast and super easy. So we're glad you all came to join the movement of lighting up your stream. We hope that you come for the next tutorials where we talk about studio reactions, which turns all of your lights into an animated sequence, very simply, similar to living scenes, but a little more fine grain of control. And as always, I hope to see you soon and have a luminous day.